Hey darlings, we are changing the crochet game. So I know you guys really like this crochet technique that I created and so today I'm actually going to do a very detailed tutorial because I want to show you guys how you could wear the crochet illusion in a half up half down type thing and so what I'm doing right now is splitting her hair in half because on top she's going to be able to wear a very big bun and in the back she could just let it down. So what I just did is to take out the section that I'm going to do around the top and this is going to be for the bun and yeah so let's start the technique. So the jungle braids hair we're using is from re for you hair on Amazon. I've done a jungle braids tutorial before and I feel like their jungle braids is exactly what I showed you guys in my most popular video for jungle braids. Um, but this is what the hair looks like out of the pack and this is the black color. We're going to be using black and green today. So I like the way they actually like pulled out the hair. I feel like it's exactly how I would do it. Like it is just perfect and I'm noticing that there is not like crazy flyaways. And this is what it looks like um this is what the loop looks like so i saw the loop i was like you know what this is the crochet illusion loop that i usually use so i'm just gonna use it i want you to notice the spacing of how they pull the hair it's the exact amount of spacing that i would if i'm doing my own jungle braids and so this is the green color it's exactly the same as the black so it starts off with twist and then it just transitions into the jungle braids and then it also has some gray color so i'm going to be mixing both of them today and i also love that they actually give you this cool gift they give you like a little um thing to hold your hair together and then they give you a bonnet guys they give you a bonnet like that i was really impressed because then you could just put your hair in the bonnet when you're done all right so for the technique you take the hair make sure the back is facing you and then put the crochet needle through the loop now you're gonna pass it through the natural hair like this and then you're gonna braid you're gonna braid that piece of hair with the hair behind it it's very easy when you do it but I'm gonna show you guys again so just keep on watching All right, so I'm sure you get the point. So now I'm just going to speed up the video and just do around the front and also the back as well. So just watch and learn and see how I do it.
all right now that we're done with the front and the sides we're gonna do the back now and please pay attention to the direction because now I'm going to be braiding upwards because remember we're trying to do a bun and so we want the direction to be upwards so I'm gonna crochet the hair in in the back of the parts okay <laughs> like this hopefully that makes sense and then I'm just gonna braid it with the one on top okay and this is so that by the time we're done braiding and we raise the hair up it's going to look like this so we're going upwards so I've also been asked if you could do this technique um, if you're doing like a full perimeter so if I wasn't doing like a half up half down the same thing I'm doing now is what I'm gonna do in the back okay if I want to pull all the hair up in a ponytail okay so what the direction I'm doing now for this half up half down if you want to put it all up in a ponytail you could do it all around the perimeter in the back of her hair as well alright so we're done with the top now let's do the back the back is gonna be much easier because I'm only going to do the illusion in the in the top so that's the section I'm doing right now and then the back is just going to be regular crochet okay I'm sure you can guess the direction we're gonna be doing now we're gonna be going backwards and for this section I'm gonna be using a green color so again you just crochet the hair on top like this and then we're going to braid backwards or downwards whatever you want to call it this is so that once we're done braiding we could just fold the hair flat backwards like this so I'm gonna do all the ones in this section going back All right, so we're done with this section with the green color. All right, so now I have all these sections of hair, Effie. What are you gonna do next? <laughs> Watch what I'm gonna do. So um, I figured to make the to make the illusion flat when I start to crochet in the hair, it would be best to do to to do more flat braids. I don't know if, if what I'm explaining makes sense but what I'm doing right now is making a part so that I could start to do individual box braids and connect the the box braids that we have already done so just watch what I'm doing so I'm gonna just take those box braids where I already did and just braid it into small sections of hair and this is so that when I start to crochet in the hair and maybe put the hair up in a, in a bun the illusion area doesn't look bulky okay because of the regular crochet so i'm gonna i'm doing this so that i could have space when i start to do the regular crochet so it's not bulky on the illusion that we created i hope what i'm saying makes sense but <laughs> just keep watching you're gonna see everything and you're also gonna see how i do the bond so that you could understand what i'm explaining right now
So I basically want to raise the hair up and it looks flat, which is why I did another row of the individual box braid and connected the ones at the back. So now for the front, I'm just going to start doing the con roll, going back. And while I'm doing the con roll, I'm just going to connect the individual braids that I did um, in the back. Don't get confused. <laughs> I hope it's pretty clear and I hope you understand. So I'm doing the con roll now and just keep on watching. Alright, so I'm done braiding. I'm just gonna stitch that hanging piece of braid, and that's how I'm securing it. So we're done with the front, and now let's let's put all these individuals in the back <laughs> into a con roll. Okay, so most of the work is done. We've succeeded in doing the foundation of the crochet illusion and also the cornrows. So now this is the easy part. Just crochet the hair normally, um, pass the crochet needle through the loop, pass it through the cornrow, and then you're gonna pass the ends through the cornrow and through the loop of the crochet hair. Very, very easy, easy breezy. <laughs> And yeah, so you're just gonna crochet the hair normally in all of the cornrows, both in the back and on top. But guys, I love this hair. I absolutely love this hair. I love how they just constructed the braids. It's perfect. So I decided to be creative, and so I am going to crochet some of the green in the middle like this so i have black on the sides i have green in the middle and then i'm going to do black on this side again Alright, let's do the crochet on the top and so this is why I said I wanted to do individuals, another second roll of the individual box braid so that there's space when I start to do this regular crochet method. So when I did my most popular jungle braids tutorial with the 
jungle braids bob like you guys asked me so many questions about if i could dip the hair in hot water so for this hair you can actually dip the hair in hot water and that's what i'm doing right now but before i actually dip the hair in hot water i did a test on like three strands of the hair to see how it looked because i was afraid that the butterfly hair that is pulled out is going to fall flat but look that did not happen <laughs> we for you hair on amazon is the truth that like you could dip their hair in hot water and the butterfly hair that is pulled out is going to stay intact but that's pretty much it and the hair is absolutely very soft i love how neat it is and yeah thank you for watching this video and stay tuned because i'm going to show you guys towards the end of the video how i did the bun but like this video and subscribe to this channel and see you guys next time